I don't particularly avoid debt. I welcome it into my economy. I've mastered debt. I know how to use debt to my advantage. So those are things that have benefited me. One thing that I'm discovering being in this kind of debt as a 28 year old young man, the most amount of debt I've ever been in was as high as 30 to 35,000, 28. So now being in 562, 6,000 of debt created some feelings, some unanticipated feelings wasn't expecting. No matter how many books I read, no matter how many content creators I collaborate with, all the people that I respect in the space that will tell you to never pay off your mortgage or or, or let that just sit and that's the difference, right? In another location and create arbitrage, and all these different things. Yes, yes, they're all great. But those feelings, man, those emotions are hard to ignore. So what I, what I pull from the the debt-free community, the community that says never use debt, I pull from the psychological aspect of it. Whereas like, yeah, you know what? I know that I'm a producer. I know I can go and generate more and more cash flow. I know I can invest and probably get a higher rate of return than what I'm paying in interest on my property, even though I you know, deduct that interest on my taxes. And I do all these, tell you, there's a feeling. The feeling is I just don't like debt. It's about as simple as that. There's no mathematical equation to convince me to, to, to cash carry this debt any longer than I. So for me personally, I get these feelings that I just don't like debt. Now, those feelings could potentially bleed into my ability to produce, my ability to perform, my ability to see clearly, my ability to, to receive God's word over my life. So I don't want to contaminate my ability, my, my connection to my father in heaven, number one. I don't want to sever that connection in way. I also don't want to create any new money block. So that's why I'm just deciding to attack this, even though I know I can probably make a ton of money if I would have just redirect that cash flow elsewhere and just pay the interest property for the next. Because with the first lien HELOC, it's interest. I'm only required to pay the interest on this property for the next. You could make arguments and strategies like, you know, the, the, the property appreciating at X amount and the deductions that you get on the interest. You make more income to, you know, reduce your tax liability and you can do all these different moves. Yes, yes, yes. Hard to get rid of that feeling. So I am becoming aware of myself, despite what the gurus say, even people like me, putting myself on the spot, even what I say, and I'm choosing to take the next three years and build my base, fortify my environment, and then proceed with the different values.